Number 16, determine the oxidation states of the elements in the following compounds. And then we have letter G out of the whole bunch. So we need to find out the oxidation states of hydrogen and fluorine in hydrogen fluoride or hydrofluoric acid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, make this a little bigger just so that you guys can see because, God, I can't see. <laughs> I, I need glasses. <laughs> Um, so that's why I write really big all the time because I can't see <laughs> help anyway. Okay. So let's, um, yeah. What do I want to say? Okay. So what I want to say is first off, if you want a full rundown of this oxidation state trend and what it means, you know, just a full rundown, you could always check out number 16 a, uh, in this playlist. That's where I kind of, you know, go over this in depth. Um, at the end of the video, the, 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 one of the boxes will have the playlist. Just click on it if you're not on the playlist and then just go to 16A and it's simple as that. But the, the take home here is that we're going to be always doing our work first and then we check with the trend. Okay. Just to see if it checks out. If it does great. If not, eh, we have to just tweak it a little bit. But let's get down to it, okay? So what oxidation states are, or they're just the charges. We've actually been seeing these so many times before. The charges are the ones that were in the upper right-hand corner when you made your compound, right? That's nothing new. We've been making compounds since we were two years old. <laughs> Maybe in chapter two, not really two years old. But anyway, I digress. So now, you know, the flip side is, is that instead of bringing those charges down, we can take the subscripts, right? And bring them back up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this guy a little bit. Oh gosh. Bring this guy a little bit over here and just say that, well, how many fluorines did I have? I had one. How many, oh, sorry. How many hydrogens did I have? I had one. How many fluorines did I have? I had one. Let's take those subscripts and crisscross them back up. This one told me or came from fluorine and fluorine. That one tells me that fluorine was a negative one charge. I say negative because in general, remember the positives will always be said first and then the negatives. And then we do the same thing for the hydrogen. This one told me that hydrogen was a plus one when we crisscrossed it down. So let's break it up. Hydrogen was a plus one charge and fluorine was a minus one. Let's take this information that we just found out and see if it matches our trends. Oh, well, here's hydrogen. Cool. Hydrogen's in group one. It's a plus one. So this checks out beautifully. And fluorine, right, is over here. Oh, that worked out beautifully. Check. So we have nothing more to do. We, we've done it all. Uh, maybe I wouldn't leave it as this. Um, I would say, you know, hydrogen, its oxidation state is a plus one, and then fluorine is a minus one, but just know that these are the oxidation states, okay? These are the charges. And what it actually means is that when hydrogen came together with fluorine to form hydrofluoric acid or hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen being a plus one, meant that it lost one electron. Fluorine, on the other hand, being negative one, gained the one electron. And, and how did fluorine gain the one electron? Well, the one electron was from hydrogen and it went to fluorine, right? If hydrogen lost one electron and fluorine gained it, the electron that fluorine gained had to come from the one that hydrogen lost, right? So it's all about like, uh, exchanging electrons. Okay. Uh, yeah. So just make the connection that when we're talking about oxidation states, pluses really mean losing electrons because electrons are negative. So if you're more positive, that means that you don't have as many negatives, you lost them. 
And then the opposite. If you're negative, that means you actually gained electrons. If you're more negative, you gained negative things. You gained electrons. So just get that notation in your head, uh, because that sometimes tricks up a lot of kids, but I don't want you to trick, trick, uh, I don't want that to trick you up, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys are uh, doing well and you're studying hard for your tests and exams and quizzes and whatnot and homework and all this kind of crazy stuff that, you know, school, school gives you guys. Hang in there though, okay? Chem is sometimes tricky, but I got you guys, all right? Um, like this video if it helped you. Subscribe to the channel if you want. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard. I'll see you guys on the next lesson. Bye-bye.